Welcome. This is a discussion on exporting your data via email with an expense tracker. Now, if you're having difficulties using email to export your data, please see our other video. This video will go through some of the intricacies of sending email or exporting your data with an expense tracker. Let's take a look. First of all, there's two buttons, two email buttons that you'll see in expense tracker. One is within this screen, which is the log view, and the other one is, when you tap on a log, this is the expense list view. There's an email button there. Now within the expense list view, when you're looking at one particular log, the email button will export your data and only export those expenses that are within that log. Now if you go up a level and tap this email button, this email button will export all of your expenses from all of your logs based on the criteria that you set in the screen. So let's take a look at the screen. So now we're exporting from all logs and we have several options to export. We can export for a date range and we can tap these preset buttons here that automatically set either last month, last week, or year to date or you can specify a particular date range just by tapping the date. And once you set the date range that you want to export from all of the logs, you can set the format. There's two formats that we support. CSV stands for comma separated value or plain text. Comma separated value is the standard format to import into Excel or other spreadsheets. You can choose the, the sort field you can sort by date, by category, or if you have turned on, by client. You can additionally filter your data out by three separate filters. You can filter by group, by category, or by client. These filters allow you to limit the number of expenses that you export. So if you wanted to export from all logs, but only those that fell in a particular group, you just simply tap that button, tap the group you want to filter. Well, we can filter by business, only the business group and then hit email. Now I'm going to change and clear the settings so I want to export from all groups. We're going to set year to date as the format. Hit the email button and the standard email expenses screen will come up that we have in expense tracker. Set the from address that will be remembered from time from, from that time forward. You can set the to address either by ty typing in manually here or by choosing a name in your contacts list. CC if you wish. You can edit the subject of the email, add any message, and then choose to include photos or not include photos. Once we hit send, you know, in a moment we'll get a message saying that our email was sent successfully. There we go. Now similarly, if we tap on a log, we can hit email as well. Now this screen looks a little bit different, simply because we don't have the date range because we are exporting all of the expenses that fall in a particular log. But we still have the ability to choose format. We can sort the data by, by the different uh, fields or and or we can filter by category or by client. And once we uh, hit email, we get that standard email form. Everything has been remembered, just hit send. And in a moment we'll get a message that said the email was sent successfully. Now let's take a deeper look at that ex exported format, the CSV format. If we go back to our log view and hit prefs, there's a really interesting preference called export field specification. Tap on that. Now as we see, these are all of the possible exported fields that you can include in your, uh, in your exported file. Only ones with check marks will be exported. So if you see a field that you want exported that is not currently exported, just tap on it and the check mark will appear. To turn off a field, 
we simply tap and it'll turn off. Now you'll notice these three horizontal bars on the right hand side and you're, I bet you're wondering what those do. Well if you tap and hold the field will sort of get highlighted and this allows us to drag and move and change the order in which the fields will be exported. So if we didn't want date first, say we want a date second and description first, we can tap on the date. Let's see, there it is. Tap it, hold it, scroll down, release. That's all there is to it. Hit done. Thank you for watching this discussion on sending emails using Expense Tracker. If you have any further questions, please feel free to contact contact us by phone at 978-579-9696 or drop us an email at info at silverwaresoftware.com. Thank you.